made it back home in one piece y'all oh by the way have y'all heard the news about the uh 50 people that got shot in the uh, club that is Mercedes-Benz GL Class is a full-size luxury SUV produced by the German car maker Mercedes-Benz since 2006. It is a three-row, seven-passenger vehicle positioned above the M-Class, GLE Class in the lineup and is the flagship of the Mercedes-Benz SUV line. I would like to introduce the all-new handcrafted 2017 GLS 550 for Matic in full black. For years, the Mercedes-Benz GL has set countless standards among seven passengers luxury SUVs, much as the S-Class sets the bar for sedans. For 2017, it is reborn as the new GLS, and its many improvements are wrapped in fresh new styles. New LED lighting, front and rear, and bold new standard 21-inch wheels are among its many brilliant details. When it comes to the interior, the GLS is really all luxury. Luxury in all three rows, heated power front seats, a second row that reclines, and a power folding third row with adult size comfort. The new GLS also features the intelligent drive system, which gives you virtual eyes on the road. This advanced technology boosts safety, reduce stress, and help to smooth every move. Active brake assist can brake to help avoid a collision autonomously. Innovations help fend off crosswinds and prepare for front, rear, and rollover accidents. Here's the key fob to the car. On there, we have the lock, unlock, trunk release, and the panic button on top. You can also move the switch over to the side to release the manual key. Now, let's go ahead and unlock the car, start it up, and let you listen to the exhaust sound. The GOS, of course, featured the smart keyless access entry, so all you have to do is leave the key in your pocket or purse, put your hand behind the handle to unlock, and simply touch on the outer side right there to lock. Here's a quick view of the interior. Interior come in black leather and anthracite poplar wood trims. Looks very luxurious and clean. To start the engine, push your foot down the brake and press the start button located right here. Under the hood, the 2017 GOS 550 features the 4.7 liter V8 bi-turbo engine with direct injection that pushes out 449 horsepower and 516 pound-foot of torque. It is a 9G Tronic automatic transmission with shift paddles mounted behind the steering wheel. The GOS 550 can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 5.2 seconds. This is all possible thanks to the V8 bi-turbo engine and the formatic permanent all-wheel drive system. As for fuel economy, the GOS 550 gets 14 miles per gallon in the city, 18 miles per gallon on the highway, and when combined it gets 16 miles per gallon. To further enhance gas mileage, the GOS is also equipped with the Eco Start and Stop feature. With this feature on, the GOS engine will automatically shut off at red light or when stuck in traffic jams and will instantly restart when the driver let go of the brake. Now before we start the review, here's a quick look at the sticker. You can feel free to pause the video here to check out what's optional and what comes as standard. Up front, there's the automatic rain sensing intermittent windshield wipers, front hood fins, 
Moving down, we have the most noticeably iconic Mercedes doors with the optional illuminate feature. Below the Mercedes doors, as you can see, there's also a front view camera. To help with visibility, there's the standard active LED headlamps with LED daytime running light and adaptive high beam assist. Adaptive high beam assist uses continuous input from a camera to automatically vary the range of your headlamps based on the distance to oncoming vehicles and to those ahead of you. It's engineered to maximize road illumination without creating glare for other drivers. Parking assist also integrate into the front bumper. Moving over to the side, there's the body color side view mirror with integrated turn signal light, auto dimming function, power folding control, blind spot assist system, and as part of the surround system, there's also a built-in camera below each side view mirror as you can see here. This specific model features the standard 21 inch wheels with all season tires. Behind the wheels, we have the four ventilated anti-lock disc brakes with adaptive brake technology, electronic stability control, and brake assist system. Off-road wheels are of course equipped with the tire pressure monitoring system. As we move down to the side, there's also the nicely designed running board. Very attractive for an SUV. Here's a closer look at the running board. To the back on top, there's the rear deck spoiler with integrated LED brake light in the center. Also looks very cool and sporty on the side. Rear windshield intermittent wiper and washer. The rear also features a rear view camera that automatically turns on when the car is put into reverse. This is a very nice safety feature to have the driver in backing out and parking. Parking assist also integrate into the rear bumper. LED tail lamps give you an eye-catching impression as you accelerate away. With long life and low energy consumption, the light emitting lamps offer both immediate and lasting safety benefits to match their impactful style statement. Lastly, at the bottom, there's the eye-catching chrome exhaust tips. In the center, we have the trailer hook and light pin connector, as you can see here. And here's a quick look under the car. As for the gas tank, just make sure the car is unlocked. To open, simply push in. And of course it is recommended by Mercedes-Benz to use premium unleaded gasoline only. Now let's go ahead and check out what's inside the trunk. Power tailgate, as you can see, automatically raises for you. Plenty of space inside, as you can see. First thing you'll notice is your car mats. First aid kit. Hook on each corner. Trunk lighting and a 12 volt car charge outlet. Trunk cover on top. You can pull this out and slid into place to cover the trunk and simply pull it back out to retract and you can actually remove this entire piece if you like additional hook on this side another hook on top and here you have two power control to fold and unfold the third row seat fits down very nicely when folded as you can see there and give you plenty of room for storage and if you fold on the second seat you have plenty of plenty of space and as you can see there the power function also works when uh, raising the uh, third row seat up which is very convenient Unlike the uh, Lexus, uh, some Lexus you have to do it uh, folded up manually. Up here, there's the lock button to lock the car doors and this button to close the tailgate. 
or you can also close it manually if you like and let's try out the safety feature and as you can see it is very sensitive with my arm in the way it would automatically raises back up very nice now for a complete view of the top this one does also features the roof rails as you can see there to carry bigger luggage or things on top like bicycles or boats also features the sliding sunroof which you can simply open for an open air filling here it is with the sunroof tilt function on However, you can barely tell from the side due to the roof rails covering it. Very nice. Now let's see what we have on the driver's side door. Door handle, door lock and unlock button, power front seat control with three memory setting for easy readjustment of the driver's seat, four power window control, window lock at the bottom, side view mirror control on top, side door storage compartment and in there you have your uh, tailgate release switch and the switch at the bottom is to open the uh, rear window here's a closer look just tilt outwards mercedes-benz door seal brake and gas pedals and below there that red lever you simply pull that down to open the front hood here's a closer look at the driver's seat we have the adjustable headrest adjustable seat belt height moving to the rear as you'll notice this uh, GOS come with the optional chrome handle there quick look at the second row seat here same style design as the front door here we have the manual sunshade cover simply pull this out you have to pull it all the way out to over here and there's a hook there which you can uh, hook in place manual but still nice to have I would prefer the power function however it's a wood trim very nice power window control side door compartment Now again, I am 5'7", weighing about 150 pounds, so this will give you a better idea of how much leg space you'll have sitting in the second row seat here. I feel fine and very comfortable back here, plenty of room for leg space. Here's a complete view of the front from sitting in the second row seat. Looks very luxurious as you can see. Two additional air vents for the rear and complete heat climate control cigarette ashtray or you can simply put change in there and way at the bottom we have a, a 12 volt core torch outlet middle is slightly raised back seat net storage same goes on this side in the middle here we have uh, two cup holders Now the second row seat does have heated control function. Also features the latch system for you safely secure down your baby's seat if you have babies. And you can simply pull this piece up also. This gives you access to the bottom of the seat. Handboard on both sides with a hook for you to hang your clothes or anything there along with the lighting control and additional air vents on the side quick look to the top here as you can see 
The roof looks very nice as it extends all the way to the back. Plenty of air vents as you can see. Here's a quick look to the third row seat. Now in order to get access into the third row seat, you first must fold down the second row seat here. And you can simply pull this lever up. This will initially fold down the uh, back. And to raise it completely up, you have to pull this up. And this will give you access into the third row seat. Now on the side here, as you see, you also have two additional switches. Now these two switches works the same way as the two switches that you see in the uh, trunk. Simply to fold down the third row seat and to raise it back up. Which is also a nice uh, option to have. That way you don't have to uh, always open the uh, trunk to raise or fold the third row seat. Let's go ahead and hop in now. Now let's go ahead and put this seat back. Raise the back up. And as you can see here I am in the third row seat. This is with the uh, seat uh, pushed all the way backwards. Cup holder on both sides. Additional air vent on top. And light control directly above the head. Now if you want more leg space, you can roll the uh, second row seat forward giving you more space but with the seat pushed all the way back you barely have any space for your leg here we are back in the driver's seat steering wheel feels very comfortable and luxurious over here we have the different control options which allow you to control everything that's going to be displayed here on the digital dash Mercedes logo in the middle with the horn Voice command option, Bluetooth phone answering option, and audio control. Standard gear shift paddle, one on each side. Here's a gear shift box to control. Push your foot down on the brake. Light up to put the car into neutral. Heavy up for reverse. Now when you put the car into reverse, as you can see here, rear view camera automatically display on the right with guided lines, which move according to the movement of the steering wheel. And on the left hand side, we have your full 360 degrees view of your surrounding which is a very nice and safety feature. Now the screen is blinking due to my camera. In real life, it does not blink at all and looks very nice. Push all the way down to put the car into drive and press the button on the end to put the car back into park. On this side, we have the left and right turn signal along with the rear and front windshield wiper control. All the way to the back, this knob is used to control the steering wheel placement and you can simply twist the knob on the end here to turn on the heating steering wheel control. And here's your adaptive cruise control. Driver air vent. Headlamps control and the fog lights control. Power parking brake. Driver sun visor here. With a small clip on the side. Mirror with light on top which turn on and off according to the open and closure of the mirror. You can also move the entire piece over to the side for better sun coverage and still have another piece for the front. Handboard on top. Moving over to the middle we have the beautiful navigation system and audio display. Again it is blinking due to my camera. In real life, it looked very crisp and clean. That's where you insert your CD. Here's the audio volume control. Simply by twisting it, or press a button in the middle to turn the display on or off. Different display setting on this side. Here's the navigation view. Radio view. and the different car settings here 
and I'm using this knob here to maneuver around it is multi-directional and you can simply press down on it to select and you can do the same with this touchpad on top so you have two options you use either the uh, touchpad or the uh, multi-directional knob at the bottom there's an SD core slot the keypad on the right has a light control traction control auto start and stop control parking assist and both front seat has cooling and heated control climate control below that there's a spot for you to put your phone or anything you need to slide this open below that we have two cup holders 12 volt cord torch outlet which can also be used as cigarette lighter and cigarette ashtray here now what's nice about these two cup holder is that it has cool air control and heated function control so red is for hot and blue is for cold and it works fairly quickly which is very nice and convenient to have here's the different core setting control different driving modes control here by simply twisting this knob The different driving mode will also display here on the screen and same goes over here. Touchpad and the knob at the bottom as I already dem demonstrated to you earlier. Middle armrest compartment is split 50-50. We have this removable piece on top. Inside we have two USB input. glove box compartment now to show you complete view of the dash Moving on up, we have the auto dimming rear view mirror with the built in universal garage door opener. You can simply use those three buttons to open and close your garage doors after inputting the codes in there. SOS is for roadside assistant. Up here, we have a spot for you to put your glasses. Different lighting controls. And in the middle, we have your sunroof control. Let's go ahead and show it to you here. Sunshade cover is currently already open. Here it is with the tilt function on. And here it is fully open. Looks very nice as you can see definitely nice for an suv to have all right guys that is it for today thanks everyone for watching and as always make sure to give my videos a thumbs up and subscribe for more future core reviews and for our everyday activity make sure to subscribe to my vlog channel my son channel and thanks again i'll see everyone in the next video review